God bless your global Christian friend. God bless the American people and the American government. John 12th chapter, verse 26. Life eternal overhead. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. I can't think of a greater honor than giving the world the book of Revelation. Because when you read it, that's what it says. Now you may want to go there and read it for yourself. God gave it to him to show unto his servants. So God honored him. Verse 27, now is my soul troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I into this hour. Father, glorify thy name. That then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Now, you look at the solar system and you don't find no place in the solar system where you think that this voice can come from. And you look out beyond the solar system, look out into the Milky Way. There don't seem to be any place in the Milky Way that that voice can come from. And you look out beyond the Milky Way into those 50 billion clusters of galaxies and it don't seem like there's no place that such a voice can come from. But it says here, Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. There's no one out there. There's no space station communicating back at that time. The space station was not even considered at that time. There was no understanding of satellites back in those days to transmit such a message in response. Now, mind you, pay close attention to this statement. Father, Abba, glorify thy name. Father, glorify thy name. Now, you may not think that this is important, but to show you how directly related this is to the answer that he requested. He requested that you glorify thy name. And here come the voice in response from heaven saying, I have both not only glorify it, but and will glorify it again. Now, when you can get that kind of response directly from heaven in answering to your request, you made the direct and correct relationship. When you can get that kind of response from heaven, knowing what's out there, knowing the solar system, knowing the Milky Way, knowing out beyond the heliosphere, knowing the clusters of galaxies. But the mere fact is that there came the direct response to 
your request from heaven. What a wonderful revelation that ought to be to those out there across the world who don't know that there is such a thing as a direct relationship from heaven through the response of someone here on earth. But you got to be right. You have to know who you're serving. You have to know who you are getting the response from. You speak direct, you get direct. You don't speak direct, you don't get direct. If you're trying to figure out where it came from, you'll never know. The main thing is to realize, Father, glorify thy name. Then, it didn't take a year, didn't take a month, didn't take a week, didn't take an hour. Spontaneously, then, there came a voice from heaven saying, I have not only but will and glorify it. Now, verse 29. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said, It thundered, some said. Others said, An angel spoke to him. Here comes the truth about the whole matter. In verse 30, Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. But for your sakes. Think about that statement. It came for your sake. Now, this is not the first time that uh, the voice have come from heaven because the time you were baptized, that was the voice. This is my beloved son. The time you were transfigured, that was the voice. This is my beloved son. So he is always making communication and showing that he has a direct connection with heaven proving from heaven back in his day and time uh, that he had the direct connection with heaven, not just with heaven, but with the Father in heaven. You got to understand these things. Uh, don't let nobody tell you about, you know, get your Bible and read it for yourself. Listen and study it what God wants you to see, what you want you to know and understand. Here is the direct response. And he said, it didn't come for my sake, but it came for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Remember, in six, John 16 and 8, uh, uh, and uh, also, remember Revelation 12 and 9. He would cast out of heaven. Now he's going to be cast out of the world. Think about that statement. He would cast out of heaven. Now he is about to be cast out of the world. And it's going to be the same way with Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. There ain't going to be found no place for him. All right. We'll continue this later on. God bless you, global Christian friend. We love you.